Hi guys, Sci-Fi Recapped here. Before we start, warning. Spoilers ahead. Today, I'm gonna explain a 2016 Japanese live-action movie called Higanjima or Nirvana Island, The Last 47 Days. The movie begins with a high school student called Kato who is stranded on an island after his ship was attacked by a mysterious sea monster. He explores the island and comes across a small village where he finds a dying human trapped in a jar, begging for help. Not long after, he discovers several vampires consuming human flesh. Kato screams, but it just awakens the whole village who start chasing him. He attempts to fight back, but is then cornered by the vampire villagers. Luckily, a man shows up and eliminates several vampires. However, since they are outnumbered, they decide to flee to the woods. After they run far enough, the man reveals his identity. Kato is shocked when he recognizes that the man was his schoolmate, Ken, who disappeared several months ago alongside other his friends. Kato reveals that he embarks to the island to rescue them, but later regrets the decision after Ken tells him that Higanjima is a vampire island and the other friends are still alive. Kato initially does not believe the story. But, it turns out that Ken has been infected and he suddenly turns into a vampire with red eyes. Ken orders his friend to run away as he is unwilling to drink his own friend's blood. The scene moves to Akira and Kato's other friends, who initially came to the island to find Akira's missing brother. Since they are trapped, Akira has to train hard in order to protect his friends from the emerging vampires. He is also being mentored by a masked man, Aoyama, who has been teaching him how to be a strong fighter. After a long fight, they manage to eliminate all the vampires easily. However, a terrifying creature suddenly appears and attacks Akira. Outpowered, Aoyama shows up and helps his student to battle the giant creature. They team up and eventually manage to beat the creature without any casualties. A few moments later, the vampire leader, Miyabi, shows up and congratulates him for beating the monster. Filled with hatred, Akira immediately rushes towards him and attacks him. Impressed with Akira's fighting skill, Miyabi offers him to join the vampire side, but is rejected. Thus, the vampire leader summons more ugly creatures to kill Akira. While he is fighting the monsters, one of Akira's friends, Yuki, attempts to kill Miyabi with an arrow, but he sees that coming and bites her on the neck, sucking her blood. Realizing that his crush is being attacked, Akira immediately attacks Miyabi and the battle between them ensues. At some point, Akira manages to land his sword on the vampire's body. But it turns out that Miyabi is immortal and there is no way to kill him now. Since Akira keeps rejecting the offer to join the vampire's side, Miyabi threatens to infect Yuki into a vampire, but suddenly Ken, who has been secretly observing them, shoots an arrow towards Miyabi's eye, and they use this opportunity to run away. Turns out that Ken is Yuki's ex-boyfriend before he was transformed into a vampire, that's why he keeps observing her from a distance to ensure her safety. The next day, Aoyama reveals that the only way to kill the vampires is beheading them, but it doesn't apply to Miyabi. Fortunately, Aoyama reveals that they have found the location of a vaccine which is the only weapon to kill the vampire leader. They immediately plan a strategy to break into the facility where the vaccine is being kept. On the other side, Miyabi is aware of the presence of the vaccine and immediately orders his secret fighter to secure it before Akira obtains it. Back to Kato, he arrives at a small village where he discovers Atsushi, Akira's missing brother, is actually still alive and becomes the village's leader. One of the villagers, who has become a vampire, refuses to drink blood and suddenly transforms into an alien-like monster. Atsushi has to eliminate him as he has become a threat for the other villagers. After that, Kato greets Atsushi, who recognizes him and reveals that vampires have to drink blood to sustain their human form. Unfortunately, Atsushi and the other villagers have also been infected, but they are not dangerous. Atsushi then escorts Kato to a hidden facility in the middle of the island and then he suddenly disappears, leaving him alone there. The next day, Akira and the team invade the laboratory, but it is guarded by the vampires. The fight ensues, but as expected, Akira and the others manage to eliminate the vampires easily. Ken finally reveals himself to Yuki and protects her from the emerging vampires. Meanwhile, an enormous monster whose body is covered by eyes appears and attacks Akira. The monster has a 360 degree view, so it is difficult for Akira to attack from behind. It is too strong for him and Akira is cornered, but suddenly Atsushi shows up and rescues his younger brother, who is very shocked when he discovers that his elder brother is still alive. They team up and manage to defeat the monster. However, Atsushi tells Akira to keep distance from him since he has become a vampire and vampires are humanity's worst enemies. Akira then regroups with his friends and they proceed to the laboratory through a tunnel. Suddenly, a horde of vampires emerge and attack them. Luckily, they are slow and the group manages to eliminate all of them easily. 
After a long walk, they arrive at the laboratory where they come across again with a group of vampires. As usual, Akira and the others slaughter all the vampires. One of them, Shishan, gets bitten by the vampires, but he will be okay since it is not a deep wound. After the battle, they obtain the vaccine to kill Miyabi. However, Atsushi surprisingly shows up again and threatens to kill Akira if he doesn't hand over the vaccine. Turns out that Atsushi has picked sides with Miyabi and attacks his own brother. He even slashes one of Akira's friends who tries to stop him. The girl gives her last words before she passes away, begging Akira to save the island. Atsushi doesn't care and takes the vaccine with him and goes away from there. The group suddenly hears strange noises from the other room and coincidentally meets Kato there. Not long after, an enormous centipede monster with a human face walks by, but it won't attack them as long as they do not see its eyes. They then ascend to the top of the building through ladders where Kato stumbles and accidentally sees its eyes. The monster enrages and begins to attack the group ruthlessly. They panic and run as fast as they can. They eventually reach the top of the building and barely escape from the centipede monster. They continue their journey to find an exit door and come across a small wagon which they believe will lead them to the exit door. Unfortunately, the wagon is stuck and the enraged monster emerges again. Akira manages to push the wagon and they escape from the monster, but it keeps chasing them away. They desperately throw several bombs towards the monster, causing it to find alternative route to chase the group. They celebrate as they think the monster has gone, but it suddenly shows up in front of them and marches towards them at a very high speed. Lucky for them, the wagon is thrown before they collide, causing them to keep moving through the monster's body and eventually escape from the facility in the centipede. After that, Akira realizes that Atsushi is not his brother anymore and he has to fight him in order to retrieve the vaccine. He then meets Atsushi at the village and fights him there. The battle ensues, but it seems like Atsushi is still too strong for Akira. He doesn't give up and eventually manages to stab him in the chest. The dying Atsushi transforms into a vampire, saying that it will now be a battle between a human and vampire, and flees to an ancient tomb. Akira chases after him to the tomb where the fight between the brothers continues. Atsushi manages to bite Akira in the neck and sucks his blood until he almost faints. Luckily, he manages to stab him in the eye which stops the sucking. They exchange punches until at some point Akira is able to overpower his brother and punches him ruthlessly. The punches cause the column above them to fall down, but Atsushi pushes his brother away, causing him to be hit by the rocks instead. Atsushi reveals that he was forced to work with Miyabi to protect his village and then orders Akira to behead him so that he can rest forever. Akira initially refuses to fulfill the request since he is still his brother. However, he eventually finishes his own brother after realizing there is no way to bring his brother back to being human. The other villagers realize that they will bring no good to humanity since they have become vampires, so they decide to suicide. On the other side, Miyabi has expected the fight and orders his girls to launch a surprise attack on Akira's village. Miyabi's men arrive at the village and slaughter every remaining human there. Aama, Yuki, and Akira's other friends are cornered and outnumbered since the girls also summon the huge terrifying monsters, even the gigantic centipede monster also present there. Back to the tomb, Akira and Kato retrieve the vaccine, but suddenly Miyabi appears and congratulates Akira for killing his own brother. Again, Miyabi offers Akira to become his henchman, but this statement just makes Akira furious and immediately attacks him. Akira vows that he will eliminate every single vampire on that island and save humanity. After that, the final battle between the strongest human on the island and the vampire leader begins. Subscribe to watch more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.